Hello. Hello. And welcome back to Crafty Learns Program in Java. Today we're going to say M a lot. M, M, M. No, I'm just kidding. We're just going to look at the two things today. We're going to look at, you know, the possibilities. If, the conditionals, the conditional statements. And we're going to use a, a rather good y y utility to help us get the user input. So that's not too bad. So we're going to create a new class and we're going to call it, what should we call it? I don't know what to call it. We'll call it if only. Oh, no, sorry, I've got my thing on. Caps lock oh, is a bitch. If only. Oh, I didn't want that, so I can get rid of that. That doesn't matter. Perfect. Okay. So, um, what we'll talk about first is the... I think we'll talk about the conditionals. And then we'll bring in user input. And uh, I think that's the best solution. So, first of all, it's, basic, it's a very basic tin syntax. We put if... For example, if something is true, let's just say that, for example. If true, do something here, for example. This out, it is true. And that's the syntax, or oh, what you want to call it. Oh, we've got um, errors. Why have we got errors? Because we're supposed to do this in a method or something, I think we're. But it doesn't matter. Don't worry about that. Um, there's another one. So basically, say if something, if let's say one pl one plus one equals two, not zero equals two, or is equal to. To, I should say this is a logical operator you can't say one and one equals two you have to say one and one if one and there's plenty of these and we'll look through them as we use these statements I don't think it's I'm not going to do a list of them so the basically this says if one plus one is the same as or equal to two then you can print this out okay so let's do a little quick method uh, Public void is let's think is it true? It 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 is true. <laughs> and we'll do that. We're in parentheses brackets, and we're going to shift this into here. Don't like the fact that it's so far away. Oh, another thing here. We need, sometimes we need line numbers. So, let's go to our main method. And we've got, oh, we've got the old math lesson. Let's get the if only, if obli. And we'll call it only as the variable name equals new. Remember we're creating it if oh, if only parentheses and semicolon. So there we go. We've we've created. So we're gonna call it only. Um, is it true method there? We we'll just do the quick way. And that. Now let's uh, let's see if this works. We've got to save that and that. And if it works, it is true. Woo! So that is true. Now, what if we want to put an extra statement? Like, for example, if this is not like that, what do we do? If so, the way I understand it, if this isn't like something, we put this. 
else. All right. And I understand that because this else thing is a bit funny. I think. Oh, what have I done there? Dead code. I know it's dead code. Else. It is false. So let's try this. In fact, we're going to make some uh, int num1 equals 1. Int num2 equals 1. And int sum. Let's just see if it for the shits and giggles. Okay. So if num one plus num two equals sum no equal let's say equals three or oh, is the same equals in the same as it is true. Else it is false. So let's run that. It is false because it's two, so we don't need this really. <laughs> now, there are other ones. For example, if num1, we can uh, do some other logical things. So if we do, is no, is greater than three. Well, it's gonna be. Uh, it's not gonna be true. It's going to be false. And this is going to be true. Because no one is not going to be greater than true, so it is false. There you go. So 1 plus 1 is not greater than 3. But if we put less than, which is this little this little arrow. Remember these from school, the crocodile teeth, the crocodiles, you know. <laughs> My, the minus is when the crocodile is facing you, and, and the greater is when it's running away from you. So this is true now, and this is false. Okay, we can run that, and it's false. <laughs> there you go. And this is the simple way we make conditions. And there, there are mo another thing but we'll go into that later but I just want you to notice this if something and it has to fill this this can be a multitude of things has to if this is something then it does this otherwise this is how I like to think of it it'll do that all right and that's this that's how I understand it if this is okay and we did, and then that just executes. Otherwise, this one does. So this is a way to control things, you know, control errors or whatever you are. It doesn't matter. We can there, uh, we can do it like that. So we've got our condition there. Well, that's okay. That's all we need. It's uh, but this is a second else, a second uh, part to it as well, which is called, I think, what they call them, nested nested or something uh, now we'll have to change it a bit okay what we're going to do now is we're going to create a new method to to demonstrate this uh, demonstrate two things we're going to introduce the how to get user input um, and we're going to use a new type well an additional to additional thing to the uh, if and else statement so we're going to call it what is is my i q <laughs> very good so we're going to introduce something from here from the, one of these which is the let's see if we can find it so it'd be the, the util. And I'm going to show you how to import something. So it's called the uh, scanner. Yes. 
So we're going to create a new scanner object here. So we call it scanner input equals new scanner. And we've got to do something here system dot in. Now you get this. Oh, because what you have to do is you have to import because this is not in the package. It's not it's not in this one. It's in one of these. So to import something, you can either uh, type. You can do this. Import and uh, Java dot util dot scanner and close it and there it's all right that's fine oh, not the thing up there it's gonna or you can right just hover over it and we say import scanner that's fair that's good enough and the third way is to press control and space oh Oh, no, it wasn't control. See, made a mistake. I'm sure you could have done that, but we'll just do it this way. Then. <laughs> there we go. Imported, and it's there. And we can use it when you import something. You can. Use, it comes from one of these, and you can use it, which is the important thing. <laughs> As that's why it's yeah, important. So we've got the new scanner, and we need it. And we need to do an a variable int we'll put uh, int legends equals scanner in oh, sorry input dot now we need to get a number so you have all these things you can get a byte short blah 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 you can get a string which is a uh, next line I think you know a boolean booleans you can where's the strings you can, there's the strings you can get the strings but we want next int there we go and do that properly so we can use that now so we're going to do some if statements uh no we're going to do a little A little introduction. Um, enter your IQ. And we're going to do a little amendment here. We're going to take off this print line. Okay. Because we, when it comes up on here, we're going to do a little space. I think. We wanted to put it after. We want the scanner to go after. So let's think. Uh, we have to do. So we have to start if intel intelligence. That's I did control space to get that up. Is equal to now we're going to say equal to or less than let's say 90 uh, we're going to do a sys out we're going to say oh what we've got it here Ah, is less than ninety. Sorry, my fault. Less than ninety. There's another one. I want to see, man, you dumb. Now, but what happens if his intelligence is a bit bigger than that? So we need a new kind of statement. If else. 
is the statement. Now, how do I look at this? Stop giving, uh, it gives you lots of errors because you haven't finished. So don't worry. Now, if intelligence, you see, goes away, is Let's see. Um, hmm, how should we do it? One hundred. No, you see, I've made a mistake. Else, is it else if? Yes, there you go. Wow, what a what an error. See, I'm doing this from memory. I'm trying not to look at a book, and that's part of it. To doing it from memory, you make mistakes, and you correct them. Now, what I want to say... is less than or equal to. So, I'm sure you could do... Let's so put it here. Ah, you put it after. That's why. Less than or equal to 90. Less than or equal to 100. You would... Let's just copy this. You just... Below... Average, and of course, spell it wrong. So we're going to do this. Let's copy this a few times so we don't have to. And say we'll put 120. Say, boy, are you? Is it? I think it's one, ten. And I think we're going to change this. We're going to stick it in this thing because otherwise it has no sense input. And this is probably going to be wrong. <laughs> but never mind. This is how we find out our mistakes if it's 20. Yeah. We'll see. You are smarter than the average bear and just don't worry I'm gonna get let's let's see hundred forty Man, you are smart. So let's have a look at our uh, what we've done. So what I think I have to do is I'm trying to think of the order. This, this is something we're going to look at in the next video. So I think I have to put this here. Because it has to go in the certain order, so it's going to print out your EQ, uh, and it's going to put it there. Now, if your intelligence is less than or equal to 90, well, let's just try it. <laughs> I'm a bit frightened. Oh, we've got to call it first. So we've got well main. Let's see, what is my IQ? and then we'll please enter your IQ and there so 90 man you dumb <laughs> so it's worked so let's say our, our our is let's say it's 99 oh you see we've got a problem here 
So we have to say 99 or less, 109 or less. Oh, we've just done that twice. Don't need to do that. So that this would be because we're, we're um this is just let's think 109 or less 119 because we're not doing it extensively 139 there we go so we're going to try that again we'll save it run it so for example if i put 99 menu done run it again Let's say we're about ooh, 105. You just blew average. Let's say one and twenty. You smarter than the average bear. And we'll do now here less or equal to now I'm gonna change this to greater or equal to one hundred and forty. So I'm going to run it, enter my IQ here, and put 186. Man, you are smart. <laughs> there you go. So let's have a recap. And uh, so to get the, the basic thing is if, right? If this, and, and when the parentheses is the condition, if this is whatever you want it to be, true or false, usually it could turns out to be, you could do you do this. Otherwise, this happens. Okay. This is how I like to do it. Else is a funny word for me. Um and I'd, but it's part of these reserve because it's, you see it's in uh, this purpley I don't know what colour it is. It means it's a reserved word. You need to use it. And it's part of programming. So ah, you kinda complain. You like to, but you can't. So, we say if this is true, then it is true. If it's wrong, it's false. So, if this is true, otherwise, this. Now, we go down to this one. We, we've created a new thing called the, the scanner, which gets the input from you. So, it gets that input there. When you enter, so we did a little system out print just to get some information enter your iq and what we did is we changed we changed that we didn't do print line because we wanted the number next to it so this would go next to it but on the next ones we did it want we wanted the print line so we used a print line on there so after that we started to put the conditions so if your intelligence was less than or equal to 99 Man, you dumb. Otherwise, less than or equal to 109 below average. So I'm going to say it in my words. If your intelligence is less than that, you're dumb. Otherwise, if your intelligence is less than that, you're below otherwise. Otherwise, if your intelligence is less than or equal to that, you're average. Otherwise, if your intelligence is less or equal to that you're smarter than the average bear or and otherwise if your intelligence is greater or equal to this is greater because the jaws are coming for you greater the risk you're smart okay so this is how I understand it this if this happens then boosh. that's how I understand the if else just by itself if this is correct or whatever, uh, this happens. If not, then this happens. This, if this is a, uh, not true, if this is true, that. If it's not true, uh, uh, otherwise it's this, or otherwise it's this, or otherwise it's that, or otherwise it's this. Depends on what you what you've what we've entered with this new scanner uh, object that we used. So there you go. It's a short one. I didn't find this too difficult. Sometimes you have to think a bit because you start to you learn how to control what you do. And this is the you'll use these a lot, I think. <laughs> so it's good to get the thing. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a little project. 
and then we're gonna in the next thing it's gonna be part of this it's gonna be this is lesson four so this is gonna be 4b which we'll do a side project and we're gonna learn how to do a body mass index so we're gonna use all everything we've learned to try and do that and then I'll just show you here well, I've pulled out some f notes to see the formula and things like that all right so when we get to that we're gonna do it so we'll see you in the project <laughs> goodbye <laughs>